Today on Guess What I Found Out, we're going to discover some facts about orcas. You know, those majestic black and white sea pandas that could end you in the most creative ways imaginable. But for some reason, just don't. Let's start with the obvious mistake. Killer whale? Yeah, no. Orcas aren't whales at all. They're actually giant dolphins, which means that if you've ever laughed at a dolphin at a marine park, congratulations, you mocked a top-tier predator that could eat you for breakfast. Fun fact, the name orca comes from the Latin word orcus, meaning bringer of death. So yeah, whoever named them really got the vibe right. These deep-sea masterminds rule every ocean on Earth, from the Arctic to the tropics, and they do it with the grace of an assassin in a tuxedo. Before we get into their frighteningly high IQ, let's appreciate their raw power. Males can grow over 30 feet long and weigh upwards of 10 tons, the size of a school bus, except this one moves at 34 and a half miles per hour and has a thirst for carnage. And speaking of power, their tails, called flukes, can launch seals 80 feet into the air. That's eight stories up. Imagine walking outside, looking up and seeing a seal casually defying gravity. Impressive, right? But let's talk about their most terrifying asset, their bite force. A human bite? 120 to 160 PSI. Your dog? 700 PSI. A gorilla? 1,300 PSI. Great white sharks? 4,000 PSI. And orcas? 19,000 PSI. That's strong enough to turn bone into a fine powder. And yet, despite all that power, there's never been a single recorded case of an orca killing a human in the wild. Either they have self-control, or they're just biding their time. If you value your life, hit that like button. It won't protect you, but at least you'll go out knowing you supported quality content. Size is one thing, but orcas don't just survive in the ocean, they strategize. These creatures are fluent in three forms of communication, click trains, whistles and pulsed calls. Click trains act as sonar, letting them see through sound. Whistles? private chats between pod members, because even apex predators need gossip, but pulsed calls? That's where it gets weird. Every orca pod has its own dialect, and young orcas have to learn it, like toddlers picking up a language. Oh, and some pods have over 20 distinct calls, meaning these guys have regional accents. That's right, there are orcas out there with Norwegian and Icelandic accents. Try getting that out of Duolingo. If you've ever failed to learn a second language, smash that follow button. These orcas are out here putting us all to shame. You know what's scarier than a predator? A coordinated predator. Orcas hunt in squads like a well-trained military unit and their strategies would put some action movie villains to shame. Orcas are one of the only animals that actively hunt great white sharks. They ram into them, flip them upside down, which induces paralysis, because science, and then surgically remove their fatty livers. It's like Grey's Anatomy meets Jaws. Antarctic orcas take teamwork to another level. They'll create massive waves to knock seals off ice flows, but they don't just do this randomly. They coordinate their attack, push the ice into open water, and then deliver the final blow. It's like watching a high-stakes heist movie, except the prize is seal snacks. Then there's the psychotic technique, intentional stranding. Off the coast of Argentina, orcas will beach themselves on purpose to snatch sea lions from the shore. Then they wiggle back into the water like it's no big deal. And the wildest part, young orcas train for years to master this move. It's basically the Olympic gymnastics of the animal kingdom. If you just realized orcas are running an entire crime syndicate in the ocean, Go ahead and share this video. More people need to know we're dealing with genius-level murder dolphins. Despite being the ultimate predator, orcas have one enemy they can't outsmart. Us. Humans have thrown everything at them. Captivity, pollution, overfishing. And yet, they continue to adapt and survive. The real question is, will we let them? Orcas have ruled the oceans for millions of years. Maybe it's time we give them the respect they deserve, or at least make sure they don't add us to the menu.